in this tip of the day, let's take a look at changing the compare angle when simulating toolpath. In this example, we have a simple part and I've just applied a roughing operation. Let's simulate this. I'm going to right hand mouse click on the toolpath group, simulate rest. We're going to use the solid model we created for stock, so I'll click OK. All right, so here's the toolpath. And when this is finished, we're going to take a look at the compare command. Now the compare command takes this toolpath, the representation of the material that's been removed, and compares it with the original solid model. The original solid model back here. All right, so let's head over here to the left and select the compare option. By default, you can see that we're comparing along this angle here. The white represents the original solid model. So as I drag this slider from left to right, you can see the result of the toolpath compared against the solid. Well, in this tip, I'd like to demonstrate that you can change this angle by coming down to the lower right hand corner. And instead of front, why don't we select side? Now we're comparing along that angle. And again, we can take our slider, we can move it from left to right, and we can take a look at the comparison. All right, and then there's also one other angle we can change, and that is going from top to bottom. Very nice. All right, that's it for this tip of the day. Thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. And don't forget to click the subscribe button.